Hi, I'm Audrey Martinovich here for Production Expert. In this three-part series, I'm demonstrating how to use the Evo 4 interface by Audient for podcasting. Check out my video on installing and setting up the Evo 4 if you need help getting started with the basics. In this video, I'll show you how to record a long-distance podcast guest who's connected via Zoom into Audacity using a PC laptop with the Evo 4 interface. Audacity doesn't allow you to record simultaneously two separate inputs into two separate mono channels, but I'll show you a way to work around that. Set your system output to loopback 1 and 2 by clicking on the speaker icon at the bottom right and selecting loopback 1 and 2 from the drop down list. Launch Audacity and set up a channel to record your microphone and loopback by selecting Loopback 1 and 2 for your stereo input. Then go to Tracks, then Add New, and click Stereo Track. Make sure the sample rates in Audacity and the Evo app match. You can change the sample rate for the Evo 4 by right-clicking on the icon in the tray and choosing Set Sample Rate, then pick the correct sample rate from the list. To configure loopback, right-click on the Evo icon again and choose Show Loopback Mixer. The loopback mixer controls what is feeding the loopback virtual inputs, mic 1 or 2, output 1 and 2, or loopback 1 and 2. In this case, we want our microphone to record to the loopback channel. Now Audacity doesn't allow us to record to two separate tracks, so we are going to record our voice onto one half of a stereo track and the guest onto the other half of our stereo track. In your Evo loopback mixer, set the mic one fader to zero and hard pan it to the left. Then set your main output one and two fader to zero and hard pan both of the pan controls to the right. This will place your mic on the left half of our stereo track in Audacity and your guest on the right. In Zoom, open settings by clicking on the gear at the top right. Click on audio from the menu on the left. Your speaker should be set to main output 1 and 2, and your microphone should be set to mic line 1. Make sure to test both of these. When I click test speaker, we should see level in the Evo 4 loopback mixer on the main output 1 and 2 fader. Let's bring that fader up to zero also, and you'll hear it through the headphone jack of your Evo 4. And now we can see my level on the left side of our track. So I'm gonna click test speaker again, and now we can see that level is coming in on the right half of our stereo channel. Now we have a recording of two different elements on one stereo track in Audacity. We need to separate that into two mono tracks for more flexibility. Click on the drop down menu next to the track name and click Split Stereo to Mono. Now we can do any editing or volume balance adjustments that we need to do. That's how to use the Evo 4 by Audient to record a long distance podcast guest over Skype with Audacity in a PC. Be sure to check out the other two videos in this three part series, installing and setting up the Evo 4 and using it to record Source Connect Now with Pro Tools on a Mac. Until next time, I'm Audrey Martinovich, here for Production Expert.